It's in the quiet times when it seems as though everyone's asleep, when it seems like there's very little activity. Maybe there's very little activity in areas of our lives that seems like nothing's going on. But it's in those quiet times, like at night here, where I'm at in Colorado, there's a lot of activity. There's a lot of things going on. There's foxes running through the neighborhoods. There's owls up in the trees. There's rabbits. There's all kinds of things out. Um, raccoons and stuff. <laughs> Scavenging. People are working. Things are taking place. You see, sometimes in the quiet times of our lives are when things are actually taking shape when things are actually moving from one place to another. You see, our God doesn't sleep. <laughs> God doesn't take time off. There's always something for God to do. <laughs> There's always places for God to be. It's kind of like us when we get a moment to sleep, to rest. That is when our body heals, rejuvenates. There's a lot of things that are happening, even in our quiet times. Some of the times the most healing and, and, and important things that we, that we think and, and, and decisions that we make are during moments of quiet, moments of peace. actually quiet <laughs> that's a rarity in a neighborhood there's usually a dog or something going off I'm sure one will probably sound off before I'm done with this message but you see even though it seems as though the world has slowed down no 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 just a whole nother group of Activity is actually taking place. Just like with us, we have times in our lives where things have slowed down. Maybe we're able to take a minute and breathe. But the actual reality is our life is continuing to move. Things are continuing to move all around us. We're, our time is still tick, tick, ticking, ladies and gentlemen, even in the quiet times. There is movement. There is activity. And as much as we need those quiet moments to refresh and rest and recuperate, it's important that we keep on top of our things that we have to do in our lives, ladies and gentlemen. Are you in a quiet moment right now? Is your life at peace? Are you able to take a minute and just breathe? I don't know. I think that's something we all have to kind of ask ourselves, you know, where am I at this moment? Where am I in my life? <laughs> you see here in my neighborhood, people are going to bed but some people are just getting up. Some people are just going to work. Some people are just, you know, having their dinner or their breakfast before they move on. You see all the other little varmints are scurrying around the neighborhood. They're getting ready for their night's activity. They're getting ready to go to work as the rest of God's creatures sleep. The foxes, the coyotes, the owls and stuff they're coming out to have dinner. You see, even in the quiet, there is much activity. We have to put all the pieces together of our lives. The days, the nights, it's all one cycle. The moon, the sun, all created by God. 
just for you. Maybe you're a nighttime dweller. <laughs> Maybe you like it when it's dark. Maybe you're a daytime guy, kind of like me. In the morning, I'm on it. I'm getting stuff done. That is my time. It's about my bedtime. <laughs> I want to go embrace the night. Embrace the darkness. Let my body heal from the day's activities. Got to go tuck in my kid. <laughs> He's up past his bedtime, but I know that I know that the day and the night are both alike to God. He created them. So whether you're a nighttime dweller or a daytime person, it's all in line with what God has for us. We can't, we can't push one aside from the other because they are both alike to God. I pray this helps you. Daylight, nighttime, it's all good, it's all God.